The skinhead movement started in the 1960s and was born from working class young people identifying with other cultures, such as Jamaican immigrants. Black music is at the heart of skinhead culture. Trojan helmet there, that's for the Trojan Records, awesome. reggae record label. I got a floral with hammers going through it because the hammers stand for working class. It's a working class subculture, isn't it? So the way I've been brought up is if I want something, I go out, work for it, and I'll get it. And that's what working class means to me. I may borrow a five off my mum every now and then, but that's, that's about it. However, the look of the skinhead has also been adopted by far-right groups, which Sam and his mates are keen to distance themselves from. What did your mum and dad think about you when you came in with a skinhead? They hated it. Yeah? They, yeah, they thought it was like the 80s, but it was all racist and stuff. Back then it was racist, it was very, very much so, like with National Front. And even nowadays it's still racist, like races like Britain First and all that. And you think, why is there Nazi skinheads now, when that's definitely not where it came from? We're not part of that, we're solely for the music. Growing up a lot of my life in a kind of small seaside town, my grandparents were the landlords of a pub there. We'd have lots of mods and skinheads pass through all year round, especially in the summer. So I've known for a long time that boots and braces don't make a racist. Sam wanted us to meet his friends, who also share his love for the skinhead culture. <laughs> what is the general reaction that you guys get here in Margate? Well, it doesn't matter where we are, we get dirty yeah. looks. Everywhere you go. Just, everyone automatically assumes it's something to do with like, neon Nazis yeah. and white power. Yeah. Do you have any tattoos? Oh, cool. Got me a reggae fever one now. Cool. That was my first one. And then I've been getting all these done in Maidstone. Is it important for you to mark your skinhead culture on your skin? I see my skin as a blank canvas that needs to be coloured in. Yeah, it shows your true self, your identity. Yeah, but I'm just yeah. like that. You don't have any seatbelts or nothing. Skinhead on a knuckles. Enterprise. Yeah. I want to go on Enterprise. Man, I've gone well. That was sick, bro. What's on the worst of the Ghost train. Ghost train. Should we do the ghost train? Yeah. I'm a, there was a moment train. I thought well, I'm going to die on that. You. I'm not going to lie to you. I like when it gets swollen, like when you freshly have a tattoo. What do you reckon, Ty? Yeah, I like that, mate. That's sweet, that is. Who's she? They're so immersed in the Skinner culture, and it's almost like they're, they're trying to reclaim it for its original meaning and keep that Skinner culture going with the music and the aesthetic. They're the whole lifestyle and the whole way of life. Margate, it is like our place to be. It's just where it all happens. Yeah. You chuck on the boots, you chuck on the braces, whatever, and you all, all of a sudden get that feeling, you get that like that reputation. All the people I know who are like skinheads and mods never tried to fit them with the crowd in the first nah, place. Nah. That's at all. Like we're like the black sheep, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. They're, they're, you will sit every now and then with a black sheep, there may be two, there may be three, do you know what I mean? If it's three black sheep, that's our three. We're the three black sheep. Yeah. 